Hi everyone, Debbie here. Happy Monday. I hope your day is going beautifully. Oh, the sun just came out. It's been really cloudy here today, most of the day, and cold. But um, the sun just joined in, so that's cool. So happy Monday. I hope your day is going well. You started off a, a good week. I hope things are working out okay for you. Uh, I just got an announcement that I have been invited to be included in the... Uh, a healing summit in June. It's it's where they interview 21 people for different healing modalities and I have been invited for my crystal therapy. So I'm really excited about that and um, as soon as I get more information I will pass it along. So that's really really exciting. So today I wanted to pop in and talk to you about angels and spirit guides just really briefly and if you know them or if you don't um, please comment below and let's see what we've got going on here it's it's something that you can achieve is to get to know them and be on a personal relationship with them and um, I have crystals to show you that will help you with that too if you have had struggles trying to find your angel and your spirit guides so um, so let's just start Please comment below if you have any questions, and I'll try and get to them as we can. And um, also comment below if you know your spirit guides and angels, and if you work with them often. I think it's important to, to do that. Um, our angels and spirit guides are there for us to ask for help for any reason. We can ask them at any time for anything, and they're they're ready and waiting for us to do that. And so many people think that um, you need an emer emergency to ask for help or guidance. That's not true. Um, you can ask any time, any, anything. Ask throughout the day, you know, um, normal day-to-day -day things that you get frustrated with. Ask your angels to help you with that so you, you kind of lessen your stress, you know. If you're going to the bank, say, you know, um, dear angels, please help me get to the bank and take care of business and it'll be smooth and easy I'm in and out really quick please lead me and guide me that kind of thing it's not really detailed you can be just um, in general you know and you can do that through your whole day just in the morning just start out the whole day and plan it out with your angels and your spirit guides and see how well you feel after the end of the day after you try it so try it see what happens how do you find our spirit or our angels names okay I'll, I will talk a little bit about that too um, our guardian angels, everybody has guardian angels and at least one. Some people believe you have more. Um, I do have friends that have several. I personally have one and um, they are your specific angel. They are assigned to you. Now some people also believe it's just this lifetime but I personally believe that it's all lifetimes. They are with you throughout your existence. So they are your angels, so you can ask them for guidance and help at any time. And you can also ask them to help others too, but they are yours, they are your angels. There's also a, a wide variety of other spirit guides out there. There are so many layers of different guides that are at our disposal at any time. We can ask them for help too. Some of them come to us for um, specific reasons during different times of our lives or we can reach out to them and ask them for help too we don't have to wait for something to happen we can just ask them please you know Archangel Michael please help me today Archangel Raphael it doesn't matter who whoever you connect with um, I had I have some friends also that have had Archangels that come into their lives at various times and help them and they connect with them very well I connect with um, Archangel or I request Archangel Michael's help every single day. He didn't come to me, I went to him asking for help. So um, it kind of can go both ways. So Archangels are, um, and other spirit guides are shared through other people. They're not yours exclusively. So I can ask Archangel Michael and so can you. Um, you know, they, they help thousands and thousands of people, millions of people a day. But our guardian angel is exclusively ours. So there's other spirit guides like uh, ascended masters, like um, Jesus, uh, Mother Mary, Buddha. Um, there's other, let's see, there's other um, spirit guides like gods, goddesses. Um, 
there's a lot of layers in between those two. Those are the most popular. And plus, um, spirit animal totems. Does anybody down here um, know their spirit animal? Those are exclusively yours too. And I'm gonna tell you in a minute how you can find out yours if you don't know. So um, I have three spirit animals. One is my main one and um, the other two are more of a, a support. That's true with your guardian angels too. If you have more than one, you have one main one and then you have the other ones will be like a support system. So um, let me start with the uh, spirit animals. If you don't know your spirit animal, start looking, start asking the universe to show you. You might um, experience a certain animal over and over in your dreams, or you might see visions, or you might see like pictures or the word of a spirit animal often. More than likely, that's one trying to tell you that they're your spirit animal. Once you get to know what it is, then you can do some research and find what they're there to help you with and guide you with. My spirit animal is a um, mountain lion, my main one. And when this one came to me through a vision, it was so very clear to me. And at that time, I needed a lot of confidence, a lot. And it helped me with that. It helped me overcome a lot of fears. And I have become so much more confident with their help. It's incredible. So, um, so start looking for the signs of your spirit animal. And once you do that and once you're you know what it is then you can start asking what's their name and to please you know help you and guide you with whatever it is that you need help with at that time now angels um you can connect to your angels through um prayer is very common meditation that's where i learned my my angel's name and my i became um very uh close to my angel through meditation um, you can start to, um, I'll tell you how to connect with your angel in just a moment too. Um, but you can start to, once you get to know your angel and their name, you can start to, um, have a relationship where you can call upon them at any time. And you start this knowingness and this guidance, <clears throat> excuse me, the system, you know, between the two of you that it's so very powerful and you can just um, continually ask for guidance throughout your day all the time. You can start that now even without knowing their name or much about them. So if you haven't already, start asking angel guidance, you know, just start tomorrow. Say, please guide me through the day and just see what happens. Report back to me how it, how it goes. Um, I learned of my angel through meditation and I'm going to show you some crystals that help. Crystals really do help it. Their vibration takes you to a higher level of deeper meditation. So even if you're not familiar with meditation or you don't meditate much, these crystals will help you just by holding them and quieting your mind. They will help you to connect to a higher level and that will start to bring this um, open you up to communicating to your angels. Now it can take some time. I've had some friends and clients that it takes months of practice. Don't get discouraged. It took me about six weeks before I finally learned my angel's name when I first did this. And then after that, things just started rolling really quickly. Now I've had other friends and clients that got their angel's names overnight. So everyone is different. Everyone is unique. So don't give up on it. Just because you don't have a name doesn't mean you cannot communicate with them. It's so important to communicate with them. Okay, so um, let me show you some crystals that you can use to connect with your angels, first of all, and then um, we'll go from there. These are ones that I use quite often. I'm doing this one-handed, so I usually use uh, selenite, opalite, and angelite. This is an angelite, connects you to angels, and these are all very inexpensive. So angelite, and I use these three together, angelite, opalite, and selenite. Now these are a good trio to use to connect your angel. And what you do is you hold these crystals and quiet your mind, relax your body, and just be open to messages. 
I don't, when I'm in meditation, I don't see an angel like what we perceive an angel to, to look like in pictures. I see an energy come and I call her and we have a discussion of what I need to have guidance on. Um, I've even gotten to the point where I can cha uh, channel her. And so um, it's a really powerful thing. Once you start to hold the crystals, you're going to start feeling these energies around you. And the energies are part of this, the crystal energies and the angel energies, if that's your intention, to start bringing you closer to your angel. Now, when I first um, started this, I wanted my angel's name. Everyone does, right? It's, it's one of those things. Um, I got the name Sarah, and I thought, no, that's not quite right. It's not quite right. And so um, I kept trying and I kept trying. And you'll know when it's absolutely right. Um, so I kept trying. And then later I came up with this. Um, I kept meditating. Oh, there's a helicopter. Do you hear that? How strange. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> I hope you can still hear me too. <laughs> so um, I kept trying and I kept trying because I knew that wasn't quite right. So eventually I got the name S-A-R-I, Zadi. And I had never heard, oh, it's really loud, it's right above me, sorry. Okay. <laughs> I never know what to expect when I'm outside. <laughs> so um, I got the name Sari, S-A-R-I. I never heard that name before in my life, but it felt right. So I Googled it because, you know, we can find pretty much anything on Google, right? So I Googled the name and lo and behold, after some some searching I found that that is actually a form of Sarah isn't that curious so from then on I knew that that was my angels name I have been able to help others find their angel name by um, brief meditation and um, connecting with this angel aura um, it's a this is an aura um, Aurora is her name she's very special look at her she is the um, spirit of the north that that channels through this crystal here um, so I have been able to to learn um, clients angels names through her and um, another powerful powerful one so you, if you get any of these you can do it yourself too uh, is a is a rainbow quartz this is these are all higher vibrational crystals what I mean by that is they have a higher vibration, even the smaller ones. And those crystals bring you to a deeper level of meditation, a deeper healing, a deeper understanding. And they can connect you really easily with your angels and spirit guides. I've used these also to connect to spirit guides, not just angels, but to spirit guides too. So you can do that too. Um, I've connected to my my spirit guides there's gods and goddesses and even councils from other um, universes or gal yeah universes it's crazy um, it's endless really and some some come and some go and um, others stay for the duration of how long you need them so um, anything for you guys you're asking about angels names and things I can't quite do that outside because I need to have a I'll do I'll plan a day where I can just do that inside and because right here I'm, I'm kind of limited with my um, with a with the noise the distractions and uh, just being one-handed and I would like to hold you know my crystal in both hands and connect so I will plan a day where um, you can pop in and ask some of these questions about your angel and spirit guides names uh, when I do that but um, I would really give it a try try meditating with some of these and see what you get okay just give it a try and the more you connect the more you can just come home after work after a crazy day meditate with your angel and get answers of why why your day was like that it's incredible if you have um, questions about why you're going through a hard time in your life you can ask for guidance you know you can ask for healing it's endless but again if you don't know your angels or your spirit guides names start asking now ask them now for guidance and healing every single day 
you'll start to see signs too. Once you connect more and once you start working on this, you'll start to see signs. Um, angels do like to leave feathers and coins and um, other spirit guides will like leave, uh, some of them like, like leave a scent like passed over loved ones. Um, they can be your spirit guides too. They, um, sometimes they have a scent that they had here on earth and you just smell that and you're like, oh, they're here with me. Sometimes you have just this knowing, um, you just know they're right here. And it's a wonderful, it's just a wonderful feeling to be able to connect so easily. So does anybody here that's here, do, do, you, do you know your angels and spirit guides? Do you feel them? Um, do you have any other questions today other than what's the name? Uh, please comment below and um, please, you know, try it. It's, it's worth it. It really is. I have a lot of med uh, videos on meditation and if you have questions about, you know, that, I also have a guided meditation to help you connect to your angel. So it's pretty easy and really inexpensive. I sell that on Etsy and I can post that for you. But please give these crystals a try and see how it helps you. You know, they're really powerful and it made it so much easier and it will open up you and your gifts and your, your angel connection very, very easily and your spirit guide connection. Plus watch, watch for the signs for your spirit animal. So I would love to hear what you find out about your spirit animals. Okay, is there any other questions? Oh, I forgot to, to mention, how do you find our angels' names? Um, that is one that, you know, through meditation, that is one that, you know, just by meditating and going into meditation with the intention of asking, what is your name? You know, just, just before you meditate, think about this is what you're going to concentrate on during meditation. Try and clear all your other stuff out of your head and crystals will help with that too. Um, it, it, if you focus on the energy you're holding, the crystal energy, you can clear your head much easier. And then just go into meditation with the intent of asking your angel, what is your name? And um, just go from there and you'll know. You'll know. So, um, like I said though, I will try and plan a time where I can pop in and just do some angel names for you. Um, when I'm inside and I'll plan it so it's more structured. I will probably do it this time of night so that you um, that are here, uh, you hopefully be able to join me at the same time, time frame more or less. Okay, anything else? You're welcome. Thank you, Marie. <laughs> Any other questions regarding angels and spirit guides? And more than likely, you have um, quite a few and a mixture of them. So, um, it is quite exciting to get to know them. It really is, it is a lot of fun. And you'll be wowed quite a bit too, I'm sure. Thank you for joining me on this little swing talk today in, in sunny, sunny Southern California, but it's cold today. I've got my sweat jacket on, I'm cold. <laughs> but thanks for popping in and I will have another swing talk again soon. And I will plan the angel name um, uh, evening soon also sometime this week probably and um, I think I'll also actually do some pendulum readings with you then too all right thanks I'll talk to you soon thanks for stopping in crystal blessings all right bye